Hey my tribe, welcome back once again to our channel. This message is timeless. If you're here, it's because there's something for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Please like, subscribe, and share, and check out the links in the About section of our page if you'd like to support us and help us to combat world hunger as 10% of all sales and donations are given monthly to food-based charities. Okay guys, so for today, um, with this reading, I am going to uh, be pulling from the Fortune Oracle by Sharina Starr, um, illustrated by Richard Crooks. I don't really like the idea of, I don't know, telling your fortune. It sounds kind of hokey to me, you know, a little bit old school, but I really like the messages that come in this deck so i was like you know what i'm gonna go with it um for some reason i was feeling blue today something told me to um focus on the blue decks so here we are for the tarot portion of this reading we're going to be doing the overall energy of today what can we look forward to and what should we avoid for the what can we look forward to, we're going to be using this deck right here. I try not to call out the name of that, um, this one especially, since it has this little disclaimer here on the back that I always try to just put up there. I hope you can read it. There you go. Enough of that human nonsense. Um, for the what can we look forward to portion we're going to be doing the tarot of the divine by yoshi yoshitani been using this one quite a bit lately um i just i like it i feel like it incorporates the energy of the season um i love that it has the white stag in it we haven't pulled that one yet but i'm hoping to see it soon and um for the what should we avoid portion everyday witch tarot by deborah blake and the artwork by elizabeth alba of course, we thank all the creators of these decks for dedicating their time and resources to their creativity and intuition. Um, so let's go ahead and give this guy, this, this deck with this beautiful silver uh, gilding on the side, I really love it, really appreciate it. It's very pretty. I like the colors. And this silver and blue, it almost reminds me of like Hanukkah colors. Um, again, all due respect to anybody with religious trauma, uh, here at My Tribe Tarot, um, we respect the way that anybody connects to their creator and the divine. However, that part of life resonates with you. We respect that here. Okay. Go ahead and pull this card. Ooh, fire. Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. Okay. Interesting. It's funny also because um, I plan to go live in a couple hours, you know, a little bit. I don't know how long it's going to take me to edit this and get it up. I should be live 1.30 Eastern time this afternoon. And I'm going to be reading from the Night School Moonlit Magic deck, which is also blue. And it reminds me of this kind of energy here with the, you know, the blue and the little speckles, which of course reminds me of like the sky. I definitely have been really connecting with the light seed, uh, light seed, light worker, star seed kind of energy, um, a lot the past, I would say year or so. And, um, yeah, definitely been drawn to the stars. So join us today for that. Um, this is pretty interesting at this card reminded me of that though because one of the cards that i pull a lot is um it's something about purifying and um writing a message on a piece of paper and burning it to get rid of you know emotions and things like that or whatever it is that isn't serving us so we'll see if that card comes up again let's go ahead and pull the overall energy of today We got the nine of cups upright i like it that looks great this is this is fabulous already i feel we're very close as a collective and personally to reaching um a really important goal for ourselves and for society i feel this i just i don't know how to explain it i've been saying it every day I, you know i i come up here 
sit here with my cards to channel these messages from the universe and every day just about I feel like the universe is telling me to share that message we're so close we are so close do you see it's like she's sitting here she has all these cups behind her she's happy and her fork is in the cheesecake right <laughs> the next step is just to, to to take that little piece get it up to your mouth and take a bite and then you're just like enjoying the delicacies of life the nine of cups to me it's right before obviously nine is right before ten and this is near completion to me it's like when you're running a race and um you're close to the finish line and you kind of want to stop because you see that finish line and it's like oh i'm almost there you know can this just be it and it's like your inclination is almost to kind of slow down a little bit but that's when it's the most important for you to speed up and just you know get that last little energy together to be able to um beat everybody else running the race right this is the fire the passion let go of emotional upheaval don't give in to that feeling of oh i want to be finished embrace the renewal of the present you see that finish line and use that finish line as motivation to dig deeper and get that last little bit of energy to get you across there before everybody else you know to meet that goal whatever that goal is this is a little close here let's move that over all right what can we look forward to Queen of Cups in Reverse. Okay, so with this Queen of Cups in Reverse, usually the Queen of Cups upright is a nurturing person, um, like a healing, supportive, mothering type, um, you know, emotional, giving. In Reverse, I feel like this is a person that's challenging us. This is a person that's running this race with us, right? We're trying to get to this finish line. This person perhaps appears to be someone that's nurturing and concerned. Um, and I feel like this has been kind of a consistent, uh, you know, portion of our readings as well. This is the pressure that turns coal into a diamond, right? I say time and pressure makes a diamond. This person wants to win just as much as you want to win, right? You have your way about you. You see the synchronicities. You are on your spiritual journey. You're asking the questions. You're trying to learn. Um, you want to stand in the sunshine, right? This person is not there and that's their prerogative. We all have our own free will, but when it becomes an issue, is when we're all running this race together, right? And the different ways that we choose to proceed bump up against each other. So this person is bringing the pressure in. You're in this situation of running this race. Nobody's going to stop. You're both trying to get to the finish line. And it's almost like I feel like a battle of the wills between the light and the darkness, right? This fire is telling you that the emotional portion of this is not helping you it's holding you back if you can kind of just for the moment push that emotional portion of it to the side and focus on your goal focus on the fact that you're so close you you've overcome nine of ten hurdles there's one more in the finish line is right there focus on that not this though it's here we can expect it we need to use our passion to get past it ten of swords don't become desperate right the sunshine is behind you it's there it's propelling you this is you come from here this is your place right this is not you this is you if anybody's ever seen this show i don't know if that you know resonates with you and how you feel about yourself in any way 
or at least any portion of yourself because we all have a lot of different moving parts inside of us, right? But this sunny, almost naive, very childlike, and these words can sometimes have a negative connotation. This is not negative. This is your core. This is somebody who's standing closer to their authenticity than somebody who's in this energy here, right? I feel like this reading is telling us very clearly stay focused on your passion stay focused on your core avoid getting con these energies confused even though this is around us this is what we are don't be tempted to play that game right because once you start once you start with these swords and this person you're going to be reaching back for your magic and it may not be the same because it takes work it takes work to shift our energy, right? It took nine out of 10 hurdles for us to get to where we are. That's all energetically accumulated around you, inside of you, in your experience, in your environment. The second you start to shift that, and you know, none of us are, are perfect, none of us are any more than human, but when you start to shift that and start to consistently work in that pattern, you're changing your energy. And it's going to take time to get back to this. Do we have that kind of time to play around with our energy? Absolutely not. We have a goal. And 9 out of 10 times we've reached that goal. We're almost there. Don't let this tempt you. Focus on your fire, right? Even in here, it looks like in the middle of this, I see the sunshine, right? This is the energy that we choose this darkness it's around us right it's our atmosphere it's the backdrop but we've discovered that we are these individual little lights right and the more we pay attention to that and the more we acknowledge that the 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 brighter our light shines right so others can find us and we illuminate this planet and we illuminate this entire universe just be, by being our true core authentic selves isn't that the energy that we want we may be used to the backdrop kind of energy, right? But we realize now that we have a choice. So, again, none of us are any more than human. We're all here on this path with our wild instincts. Um, that's a part of us also. But we are feeling and believing in a different way of proceeding and a different outcome, right? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing and, and expecting different results. So here we are trying something different. And I feel like the universe um, absolutely feels that and is responding in tangible ways. So with this fire card, number 10, we're told fire is all about renewal and purification. Just as the bush or forest fire destroys old growth, it also makes way for a time of rejuvenation and new growth. This card is all about a fresh path for you, but it also asks you to let go of the past. Lackluster relationships or situations that you've swept under the carpet may finally come to an end. There could be emotional upheavals as you do this, and you may find it difficult to relax. Know that there will be new life to come. Personal Relationships there's a raging fire in your life. Is anger consuming you? Is someone in your life causing you trouble or being self-destructive? Worry over a child or someone causing you problems and grief could also be a burning passion. Now, this is the, now is the time to stop walking on eggshells and communicate openly instead. Volatile situations could come to a climax, but this would be for the best. Release all your feelings about a child or partner slowly and rationally. Otherwise, they may come out in sudden explosive outbursts. Career money. You are now moving towards a major life transformation, setting new goals with drive and more motivation. You're feeling more ambitious and desire power. Fire is about renewal, but in order for that to happen, something must come to an end. Let the past go. I just heard third eye blind. Can you put the past away? Spirit said don't start singing. I'm not going to do that. But yeah, that just came to me. Confront what you know you need to and prepare for a time of enormous personal growth. Necessary endings will rejuvenate you and help you to get back the respect you deserve. 
place a dragon facing the front door of your home or place it on your desk at the office to harness its strength and power. Oh boy, this makes me want to pull a dragon card. I'm going to pull out the Dragon Oracle cards by Diana Cooper. Anybody who is familiar with my channel knows that I have a lot of love and respect for my personal dragon. He's gotten me out of some um, <laughs> touchy situations and hmm, where am I going to? I guess I yeah, I'll put this right here. He's gotten me out of some touchy situations and I've been connecting more so recently with that energy a lot. Um, definitely has really helped me in my life. So let's see the black dragon cocoons you so that your divine potential grows can you see this undergo a metamorphosis i love this again look at this the theme of the darkness back here with the stars emanating from you being protected in your raw power your raw core true self as you grow it's like you're in this cocoon you're inside of the dragon's tail you're inside of the dragon's protection you're inside of a cave and the light is shining and you're just directly connected to it look at this The black dragon about the black dragon fifth dimensional black dragons are powerful they only come to us when we are ready to nurture a new idea or concept that will enable our divine potential to grow black is the ultimate divine feminine color the shade of mystery and magic of secrets and hidden hopes i've always liked wearing black even when i was like a kid and people used to say oh you're a goth i'm like no i just like it <laughs> I definitely did like associate sort of with any kind of subculture but I never really was like I'm this or that that never really was me just I always went with what resonated but wearing black was a part of that when we are prepared to surrender to the black dragons they will cocoon us in silky black energy and as we rest within the safe dark place they will enable the new to develop within us it almost reminds me of a seed growing you plant it in the ground and it's dark right but it glows up grows up towards the light glows up grows up all that eventually we will emerge like a butterfly having undergone undergone a profound metamorphosis guidance choosing this card suggests it is time to rest for it is during such moments of relaxation that divine projects creative ideas or a new way of thinking are conceived in times of peace and stillness fresh seeds and ideas can grow gosh the mighty black dragons wish to create a dark cocoon for you now so that the new can germinate and sprout you're asked to accept their assistance for it will serve your spiritual growth take time to meditate or reflect and the dragons will surround you with their breath this will allow the opportunity that is being presented to you to take root when you're ready the black dragons will help you to nurture the new growth ask them to help you hold your vision until it comes to glorious fruition they will also be working with you in your sleep state and you may be aware of their presence so acknowledge their help expect to be different and ready to spread your wings i love it beautiful this was a great one i'm really glad that i did this the universe was speaking very loud to me this morning um we're going to be, like I said, in a, a little while going live again, and we're going to be pulling from the Moonlight Magic Oracle deck. This uh, live live today is going to be the night school again. Um, but, of course, if you want to discuss anything else or want me to pull cards, I will be available to do that for you. So, see you in a little while, guys. Take care.